wanted to reach out to many, many voices who might have a lot to say about Willie Mays. And one of them is none other than the great Pete Rose, who joins us right now on Willard and Dibbs on 95.7 The Game. An absolute honor, Pete, to have you on our show, especially on a night like this. What would you like to share about the Say Hey Kid? Well, of course, uh, Willie, yesterday was the greatest living baseball player ever. Okay, and uh, uh, I remember playing with Willie in all-star games, and uh, he was so kind to young players. He made us feel so much at home. I guess that's why we won so many all-star games in the National League. But uh, I remember the first time I met Willie, uh, uh, I was a kid. I was in the big leagues, but I was a kid, and I I remember I called him Mr. Mays. And he said, he said, young man, my dad was Mr. Mays. I'm Willie. And from that time on, uh, we seemed to get along good, and, and we hit it off. And, and he was fun to play with. He was he was a he was a hoot, if you know what I mean. And he had so much personality. Then when I think of Willie, I think of Henry. Those were the two best players uh, that I happened to play against, along with Sam Musial. But uh, they just stood out because of their ability and their personalities and, and what they did for the game. Uh, Willie was the best. I mean, that, that, that's the only way I can describe uh, Willie Mays, is he was the best. Yeah, and, and our hearts are heavy today, Pete. 93 years old, Willie Mays has yeah. passed away. But uh, you have a story, don't you, about playing in the first All-Star game with Willie Mays? Uh, I forgot when it was, but my first All-Star game was 65 over in Minneapolis. Uh Recollect me. Help me out. I don't remember the story about Willie Mays. <laughs> I think it's just you and he, uh, you know, playing together in the All Stars, and you know, kind of speaks to what you were talking about before about him being a hoot. Oh, he was he, he he was such a good player in the clubhouse. I mean, I don't think people understand. We all know how good Willie was on the field. Okay, great. Uh, but he was great in the clubhouse. He was friendly. He was personable. Uh, he made everybody feel at home. And when you're a young player, okay, and you walk in a clubhouse and Willie Mays is in there and a lot of the other all-stars and you're playing against the American League and all of a sudden this, this star, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. He was a star. He comes over and makes you feel at home because he wanted to win the game. And I think I played in 17 of them. We won 16. The only one we lost. Uh, was 1971 when Reggie Jackson hit that that sinker down in off of Doc Ellis and hit the transformer on top of Tiger Stadium over in Detroit. But uh, Willie made everybody feel at home, and his personal personality was so bubbling. He was always happy, always smiling, uh, and always practicing. He he did his work, man. That's why he was so good. He didn't go out there and just. Uh, rely on being Willie Mays. He did his batting practice. He did his fielding practice, and uh, he he just was one of a kind. I, I guess you can say a lot of good things about a lot of good players, uh, but Willie Mays was the best, and he was one of a kind. Pete Rose with us on uh, ninety five seven The Game. Pete, uh, j- through your eyes, how would you describe the imprint that he left on the game? Um. Uh, well, I, I think his personality comes in so much when you talk about Willie. We, hell, everybody knows what kind of player he was. He was the best. But he was just so friendly to people. Uh, the only people he didn't like was pitchers. <laughs> 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 and and the, only guy, the only guy pitchers didn't like was Willie. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the guy hit over 600 home runs, and he knocked in over 2,000. I mean, the guy did everything in the baseball uniform, and and he had a style of that bucket catch that he did, and and uh, he played shallow because he could go back so good on a fly ball, a, a Golden Glove outfielder. I mean, it, it was it was a thrill playing with Willie in All Star games, and it was definitely uh, when I was a kid breaking in. It was a it was a thrill. It was a thrill watching him when I was in high school. Then all of a sudden, you're on the same field playing against him, and uh, it was so much fun. It, it just uh, I'll never forget it. How much of an ambassador of the game was he at a time when baseball was really growing in leaps and bounds? Yeah, yeah he was He was it. He was the ambassador. I mean, and that was because of his personality. 
you know, everybody knew what kind of player he was. He was the best player on the field, but he just, he was so personable with everybody. Uh, you know, I was the opposition he, and he was real friendly to me. And I know he wanted to kick my ass when the game started. That's the way Willie was. He wanted to win the game. And when, when I got to play with him at the all-star game before the game and when the, the president of the league would have a, uh, have a meeting about how important the game was, well, they'd always have, uh, you know, a, f- a few things to say to the players, like he was assistant manager. I mean, that's how much he believed in the National League, and that's how much he believed in winning the game. So uh, Willie will live in my memory forever. Pete Rose with us here on 95.7 The Game, talking about the great Willie Mays, who's passed away at age 93. Pete, I, I, I certainly don't want to put you on the spot. I wonder what your thoughts are about the event at Rickwood Field that are coming up Thursday, which was already so much about Willie Mays. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Now, and now there's this. So what's your, what's your perspective now on, 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 on the entire day that Thursday will be? Well, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it even a bigger day. Uh, just the fact that uh, Willie can't be there. That's the way I looked at it. And uh, I don't think he could ever honor Willie Mays enough in baseball. That's, that's my personal feeling. He did so much for the game, okay? And uh, he'll, be, he'll be missed. I mean, even if he's 93, I didn't give a shit if he's 103. He would still be missed because he's certainly, if not the best player ever, he's right up there with Babe Ruth. I mean, Babe did his thing back in the 20s, and Willie did his thing in the 50s and the 60s. And uh, I happened to be part of that because I broke in at 63, and uh, all of a sudden you're playing against Willie Mays, and all of a sudden you make an all-star game, and you're playing with Willie Mays. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, guys. Pete, it's, it's really special that you hopped on right now. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys giving me an opportunity. But Willie will will live forever in my eyes. Yeah, us too, Pete. Same. Thank Same. you, Pete. Thanks, Pete. Okay, you guys you guys have a good night. You be well. Be healthy.